Okay, so this is a accomplishment probably about eight years in the making. This right here is my first successful homemade triode tube. It is made out of parts of old vacuum tubes with Pyrex glass. And it has a getter made out of titanium right there. It uses a filament from a car's headlamp. Stretched out right there. And I'm going to hook it up and show you how it works. Okay, so I have the tube hooked up like this. I have part of a 12 volt battery used to run a filament and then the other part of the battery uh, is used for the grid bias circuitry. I have a 50k pot there to vary the grid voltage. And then I have 54 volts right here in series with a milliamp meter to measure the plate current. Uh, this isn't, isn't very powerful, probably only a few milliamps, but at least it, it actually works. So, right here is the potentiometer to vary the grid voltage. Oh, this it just shorted right there. And when I give it some filament, we'll see a little plate current. And as I vary this voltage, we should be a able to see able to see the plate current change. Just to prove that there's no tricks, I'm going to disconnect the grid. And if I just touch it, you see that there's some change. So this isn't this isn't a trick. This is actually working as a triode. When I first sealed it off, actually, it worked as a thyrotron as first uh, because there was a little bit of extra gas that didn't get sucked out. But uh, I flashed the getter really hard and let it sit for a while, and it actually, the getter took out the remaining air. So probably, I don't know, has a vacuum of maybe 5 or 10 microns. Really, really crappy vacuum. But at least it's doing something. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make a, a quick amplifier and see if we can see amplifying something on it on an oscilloscope. Okay, so I now have it hooked up like this. I have an AC wall wart connected to a variac that's putting out about one or two volts AC. And then I just have it hooked up as a inverting amplifier. So hopefully we'll look at the scope and we'll be able to see that it's actually amplifying. So let me get you positioned over the scope. Okay, so this, the two traces are set to the same time, di time division and the same uh, voltage scale. This is the grid right here and this is the plate. I'm going to turn on the filament now and adjust the grid bias. Okay, so it likes it best with zero bias right there. So that's just a 560k resistor tied from the grid to the cathode. And you can vary the gain with the filament voltage right there. I'm going to try to adjust the plate resistor because it's clipping. Nope, okay, so it needs a larger... I have a potentiometer in there for the plate, and it needs something larger than 250k because it's clipping right there. Well, that's pretty much it for now. I'll go into more detail how I made this 
in a future video. It's just, it's so much work to make it that I really can't video it while I'm doing it. It's just so hard. I'll just give you guys a closer look. So there's a piece of titanium wire right there on the plate curved into a circle or a rectangle shape. And then there's a circle right there. And my induction heater is not quite powerful to get this one right here to flash, but it was able to get this small little ring right here. That grid was salvaged from an old vacuum tube. And that filament is bare tungsten from a, from a car's headlamp. Uh, the seals are tungsten wire in Pyrex glass. And this, this whole thing is made out of Pyrex. Uh, you can see right here I burned off the filament wires while I was making it. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.